So in this video, I will explain the concept of convex optimization. To this aim, I will first introduce some concept of convex set and convex functions. I mean, the exact definition of convex set and convex functions. Okay, so let's consider three set. So here, the it's kind of circle. All the point inside the the line is the element elements of the set. The second set, the shape look, looks like this. And the third set looks like this. Among these three sets, we need two sets are convex set. Okay, this set is convex. Convex set definition is when you pick two point from a set, let's say x and y, and if the two, when we combine two point by linear interpolation, like one minus alpha times x plus alpha times y. Here, alpha, of course, belong to 0 to 1. If this point the, on the line between x and y, also an element of the set C, then the set C is convex set. So here, in this example, when we put, pick any two points inside the, the line, and when you draw a line between the two points, the line always inside the set. So this is convex. This, the third one as well. Whatever you pick to point and draw right, always the line will be inside the set. But in this case, there is an example. When you pick this and this and draw line between them, the line is not inside the set. So this case is not a convex set. Okay, so note that you can draw uh, you can draw two points and you can make a line inside the set, but this does not imply the convex set. The convex set means when you pick all two points, any two points, the line have to be inside the mm -hmm. set. If there exists any one single case such that the line connect to them does not inside, does not belong to the set, then the set is not the convex set. Okay. Right. Why this convex set property is very important? In our course, we will learn many optimization techniques, and many of them, many com many optimization techniques, they usually uh, exploit the local behavior. So we usually start from a random initial point, and then search some local behavior, and move a little bit based on the local behavior, okay? So when you consider a convex set, where, wherever the, the optimal point locate, you can easily reach to the optimal point. You can very easily define the trajectory starting from any arbitrary random initial point you can find a very nice trajectory that can converge to the optimal point. But when you consider this uh, non-convex set, you have and when you start from here, but the optimal point is there, you have to find a path that can avoid this boundary, that can escape from this boundary. Right, so the trajectory becomes more complicated. 
compared to the convex set case. Okay, that's why convex set constraint in convex optimization problem is one of key ingredient so that we can build many nice theorems and property of optimization algorithms. Right. Okay, next one. Then what is convex function? Let's consider three different functions. So this is the input x, and let's say this is our output y, the output of your function. And so this is the first function you consider, and the second function you consider, and the third one you consider. Among three functions, only one function is convex function. Which one? This one. The definition of convex function is this. Again, when you pick any arbitrary two point x1 and x2, linear interpolation with any alpha belong to 0 and 1 interval having this property for all alpha for all x1 x2 then the function is convex Okay, so in the figure, whatever you pick two point on the function, and when you draw line between them, the function value, the real function value, always below the line, like this. So this is the left left one is convex function, but in this case, when you pick two point here and here, then the line. This one is below the true function fx value. Okay, so it does not hold this property, so this is not convex function. This one as well, when you pick this and this one, the line below the function fx, so we can easily check this function is not convex. Okay, so why convex function is important? First of all, uh, the convex function has unimodal property. So local optimal, so when you find the optimal point locally, then the local optimal point always global optimal point. So this is one very nice property of convex function. So consider this uh, center one, so there are two local optima and especially this one is not global optima so this is very bad property if you have many local optima and some of local optima has some high function value then essentially your optimization problem is very difficult to solve okay but convex function, there is only one single optimal point. So when you do some local search and find a local optimal point, then basically the local optimal point is global optimal point and problem solved. But when you look at the third function, the light, the most light one, here also there is only one single optimal point. So again, once you find the local optima, then you can find the global optima, so problem solved. But here, the problem is the slope of this area, this area is very steep, but slope of this area is very you know, flat. In that case, it is very hard to think how far from the optimal point here. Okay, because the 
the slope value, the gradient value, we will discuss the, what is gradient in the later of this class. But anyway, when you look at the slope, the local behavior, it is very hard to um, judge, judge how much uh, we need to do more computation, how many computation we need to do more to find out the local optimal point. But in this case, the convex optimization case, the function has very uh, nice property. The slope always increase, right? So the the local from the local shape of your function, you can roughly guess how far from the optimal point, and then you can very easily control your local optimal scheme so that you can fastly converge to the optimal point. So this is a very nice property of convex optimization. Your constraint set also very nice. Your optimi objective function also very nice. So this is very ideal case. So convex optimization problem, this one. So you have objective function convex, constraint set is convex, then this is very ideal case. You can easily find the optimate, optimal point, global optimal point. There are a bunch of algorithms that can find the optimal point easily. And so it is not the main uh, interest how to find the optimal point, how closely you can convert to the point because there are many, many algorithm that can easily find the optimization point. But more interesting thing for convex optimization is convergence rate. How fastly we can go to the optimal point. How many iterations, how many computations we need to find out the optimal solution. This is, also, is, this is very important questions this class and in your research.